there is one law that governs all rivers, and that is that water will forever strive to move to the lowest level, and it is this fact that keeps all rivers eternally migrating to the lowest point. A mountain stream is clear and silt-free, any softness of the rock is gone, and few minerals are left to the water. The water is also rich in oxygen from the rough and tumble of its rapid course. Only the toughest survive here, and this rare ghost frog is one of the toughest. This frog is a skilled mountaineer, and using adhesive toe pads, it manages to grip to impossible-looking surfaces, which are slime-covered, slippery, and always wet. His location of choice are cold, fast-flowing mountain streams, and can be found on Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. The young river is swift and violent, and in all likelihood, it is overlooked by the canopies of trees rooted in the slopes of the highlands. These factors contribute to the lack of life in the young river, and only organisms that can anchor themselves onto rocks survive. Despite the unfriendliness of the fast-flowing young river, specially adapted organisms thrive in its waters, like these mayfly larvae, which avoid the faster surface regions by clinging to the slower bottom. Clearly, those that can migrate between the stream and land have an advantage over the strictly water-bound animals. Crabs don't seem to mind the frenetic pace, but ultimately they are fairly high in the food chain. Crabs have to eat something, and that something has to survive the desperate currents. As the rush eases and the river matures slightly, more animals and living creatures become apparent, and the dependency for these arteries grow with every bend. For some, it is an obstacle that needs to be crossed for safety, and for others, the crossing is cause for concern. The African fish eagle plucks what it needs from the flowing waters, while the pelicans and hippopotamus share its coolness and enjoy the freeness of its buoyancy. For some, like these kudu, rivers bring life. and others, like this vulnerable giraffe, risk life and limb each day as they drink from it. Elephants especially enjoy rivers, and here on the Chobe River in northern Botswana, a herd come down for their afternoon swim. It is pure relief to escape the harsh temperatures and wallow happily in the cool waters, and the social interaction between the elephants seems to increase. Too much social interaction for this heron as he takes his lunch elsewhere. But even these waters are not safe for all, and a wayward elephant calf could be victim to an optimistic crocodile. The herd moves into deeper waters with a mind to crossing. A calf is in deep water using his trunk as a snorkel. The Nile crocodile makes his move. But the vigilant herd sound the alarm and the adults very quickly surround the youngster. ease out of the water to safety. Finally, the end of the road, and the fresh waters retire to the gentle ebb of the oceans. <laughs> 